So, Aaron Rodgers is officially a Jet. He just told Adam Scheffler to lose his number and basically quit asking him. It's pretty much done. They got Lazard. They've got Rodgers now. Hopefully, the Jets will be a contender. Aaron Rodgers is a Jet. The Cowboys released Zeke and a couple more headlines as Adam Thielen looks to be a Panther. And so is Hayden Hurst. So, the Panthers, we're going to be really, really good next year. Watch out for us. But anyway... That, regardless, a ton of free agency news has dropped. This is Wednesday's video, recording on Wednesday. But, regardless, today we are going to predict March Madness 2023. Yes, it is finally here. March Madness is officially here. We're going to go ahead and run through every game real quick, show you who I have as my national champion, and then tomorrow the tournament starts. So we will get some reactions out for you guys for the conference tournament well, for the tournament as well auburn's playing tomorrow at six i might be going to birmingham on saturday but you never know anyway that is what we're going to do in today's video so if you guys are new to the channel be sure to drop a like and subscribe and i will please drop a like and a subscribe it means a lot let's just hop right into it all right so the first matchup of the of March Madness is Alabama versus Texas A&M Corpus Christian. Now, they did win last night. They beat SEMO in the first four. So I have Alabama winning. I think everybody has Alabama winning this game. This shouldn't be a problem for Bama. Next game is West Virginia and Maryland. I'm going to go with West Virginia here over Maryland. Maryland's not really that good. Honestly, I just expect Maryland to lose in the first round just like everybody else. Moving on is South Dakota State and Charleston. I have Charleston winning this game. That once a year, every t one, at least one five and twelve upset usually happens every year. I've got this game being the twelve five upset. Charleston is beating South Dakota State in the first round. Moving on is Virginia and Furman. Virginia is not the best four seed. They're the weakest four seed, and I expect them to lose to Furman. So Charleston and Furman in the second round as well. Moving on is Creighton and NC State. NC State's not that great of a team. I'm going with Creighton. I'm trying to run through these really quick. It's going to be a long video. Baylor, USBC, UCSB, UC Santa Barbara. I like Baylor. Baylor is the weakest three seed out there, which is why we'll talk about that leading into the next game. Utah State and Missouri. I like Utah State over Missouri, the second SEC team to get knocked out. I just think Utah State is not going to make, or Missouri is not going to make a deep run in March Madness. But I could be wrong, but Utah State is probably going to the second round. Arizona and Princeton, it's pretty obvious who's going to win that. Arizona. Moving on to the East bracket, Purdue and, and Texas Southern and FDU. I have Purdue winning this game 1 versus 16. Memphis and FAU, a lot of people are, pick, pick, are picking. Florida Atlantic. I'm going to go here and pick Memphis. Memphis just beat Houston in the AAC Conference Championship game. I expect them to beat Memphis, or yeah, to for Memphis to beat FIU, FAU in the first round of the tournament. Moving on is Duke and Oral Roberts. I'm going to take Duke just like everybody. Duke's probably one of those teams that we're going to expect to make a deep run. Uh, can t Tennessee and Louisiana. This could be an upset. I almost chose Louisiana, but I'm going to go with Tennessee here. Tennessee will get the dub and move on to the second round and play Duke. Kentucky Providence. Everyone's really liking Kentucky so far. I'm going to take Kentucky here over Providence. It's going to be a close back and forth game. This is probably going to be one of the higher scoring games. I'm going to take Kentucky in the first round. Moving on is Montana State and Kansas State. Now, another stat that I did that I saw is that there are usually two, three, fourteen upsets. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one though, and Montana State is gonna go over Kansas. Analytics really like Montana State to upset Kansas too. I don't know why, but they do. And I just think Montana State's gonna take the dub. Michigan State and USC. I'm picking Michigan State. I know a lot of people are picking USC, but I like Tom Izzo and the Spartans here. Moving on is Marquette and Vermont. Everybody likes Mar Marquette. I'm going to go with Marquette. Marquette's been hot recently. They're a two seed. They are really, really good this year. And I think Marquette is going to take the dub in the first round. Moving on to the Midwest bracket. Houston versus Northern Kentucky. I'm going to go Houston. Auburn versus Iowa. We've got to play very, very good defense. And we got to shoot the ball. Wendell Green needs to get hot. I'm not going to rant about what Auburn needs to do. I'm going to have I I have faith in my Tigers. I think they can pull this one out, but they're not going to pull the next one out against Houston. Moving on is Miami and Drake. This is the second 5-12 game that I've gotten upset. I think Drake is going to upset Miami. 
Moving on is Indiana and Ken Kent State. I'm going with Indiana here as Indiana should get the win. They're very deep. They're in the Big Ten. Big Ten is a very deep conference. I think Indiana is going to take the dub. Moving on is Iowa State versus Pittsburgh. Now, Pittsburgh beat Mississippi State last night. Didn't get a chance to watch any of it. But I'm going to say Iowa State. Pittsburgh did not look all that great. I watched some of the highlights today. Pittsburgh does not look great. And I expect Iowa State to come out on the rest. Very, very hot Iowa State to the next round. Xavier and Kennesaw. I'm going to go Xavier like everybody else. Texas A&M and Penn State. This is a tough one that everybody has been picking. I'm going Texas A&M here, but I could see a Penn State upset the way they shoot the three ball and the way they play defense. They play trap game really good like Auburn. I expect it to be very back and forth. But A&M is going on to the second round. For me, Colgate and Texas. Now, that could be an upset, but I don't see it. Texas is going on to the second round. Kansas and Howard. Howard, Kansas is going to go to the second round there. 1 versus 16, not shocked. Arkansas, Illinois. I'm going Arkansas here as Arkansas will take the dub in the 8-9 matchup. Mary Catholic, I believe, and VCU. I'm going St. Mary's over here. It's St. Mary's. TCU and Nevada, hopefully. I'm going ASU slash Venata. Nevada. I think both of these teams could beat TCU. TCU is not a very good team. I think Nevada or ASU is going to the next round against Gonzaga. I think Gonzaga is going to make a deep run this year. Gonzaga is going to the next round as well. Northwestern and Boise State. I like Boise State in this 7-10 matchup. Northwestern looks like frauds to me. I don't think they're that good. Yes, they got hot towards the end of the season, but I'm sticking with my pick and taking Boise State over at Northwestern. Finally, the last game of the first round on the schedule, UCLA and UNC Asheville. I like UCLA just like everybody else. Say 2 versus 16, not that hard to pick. Moving on is Alabama and West Virginia over here. That's who I have in the second round. Alabama's basically got a double bye in the second round. Next is Creighton and Furman. I'm going or Charleston and Furman. I'm going to go Charleston versus Bama in the uh, Sweet 16. Moving on is Creighton and Arizona or Creighton and Baylor. I got Creighton. I just spoiled my next pick. Arizona is going in the second round over Utah State. Purdue Memphis. Usually one number one seed does get upset. I'm calling it now. Purdue is going to get upset. You guys can hold me to that, but I believe Purdue is going to get upset by Memphis. In the second round. Moving on is Duke and Tennessee. And I like Tennessee in this game. I know. It's very shocking. Tennessee just lost their starting point guard for the rest of the season. But they tore an ACL. But that doesn't mean that they can't play. We saw this. But I expect Tennessee to come out hot against Duke in the second round. Kentucky and Montana State. Everybody's got to like Kentucky here. I got Kentucky going to the Sweet 16. And Marquette and Michigan State. This is a close one. But I believe... Marquette is going to move on to the Sweet 16 as well. Looking at, to the second round, Houston versus Auburn. I think Houston's going to beat us in the sweet in the second round. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I would much love to get my bracket screwed, but obviously if Houston does win, it will be good. And if Auburn wins, it will be great for me. Drake and Indiana. I got Drake upsetting Indiana. They're going to be one of those teams that's going to get far in the tournament. Moving on is Iowa State and Xavier. I like Xavier just like everybody else should. Three versus six. Moving on is A&M and Texas. And this is going to be a classic college football rivalry and basketball. But I'm going to stick with my pick and take Texas to move on to the Sweet 16. Kansas and Arkansas. This one, you could pick Arkansas to upset them. Don't be shocked if they do. But I'm going to stick with my pick and go with Kansas here. At moving on to the Sweet 16. UConn and St. Mary's. I'm going to go UConn just like everybody else should. And then Gonzaga and ASU. I like Gonzaga. And then Boise State and UCLA. I like UCLA in this one. Moving on to the Elite Eight. I'm trying to get the, through these very fast. The Elite Eight is Alabama-Charleston. I will have Alabama moving on to the Final Four. Tennessee and or Alabama and Charleston. Alabama will move on to the Elite Eight. My fault. Arizona and Creighton. Creighton will move on to the Elite Eight. So it's Alabama, Creighton in one bracket. Memphis and Tennessee. I like Tennessee to go to the Elite Eight as well. And then in this game, the analytics say that Kentucky is the better team. I'm going to pick with Kentucky over Marquette. I know it may be shocking to some, 
that I'm going to go ahead and pick Kentucky to beat this game, to beat Marquette in this game. Moving on is Houston and Drake. Houston's got that all the way in the bag. Xavier and Texas. This is a tough one. It's a 2v3, but I'm going to go Xavier over Texas. I just think with the Chris Beard firing, it's going to get in their heads a little bit through March Madness, and I believe that Xavier is going to win. Kansas and Arkansas, I'm going to go Kansas or Kansas and Yukon rather. I'm going to go Yukon upsetting the number one seed Kansas. Now, this is a very hard pick, but I'm going to stick with it. UConn is upsetting Kansas. Moving on to the final Elite Eight game, Gonzaga and UCLA, the West Coast matchup. I'm going to go UCLA here over at Gonzaga. It's a 2v3. They should win this game. I expect them to win this game against Gonzaga. Moving on to the South Elite Eight, Alabama and Creighton. I like Alabama just like everybody in the nation does right now. Tennessee and Kentucky and all SEC Elite Eight means an all SEC Final Four. I'm going to go Tennessee here against Alabama in one Final Four, and then in the next one, Houston and UConn are getting the dubs. And I, I struggle with the Final Four picks if if they got this far, but I'm going to take Houston in one national championship, and then Alabama in the other. Houston versus Alabama in the natty, and then my national champion is the Alabama Crimson Tide. So there you have it. There is my March Madness NCAA bracket. Alabama is going to be the national champions. I think a lot of people are picking Bama, and I'm not shocked. They have one of the best shooters in, in Brandon Miller. They have one of the best shot blockers in the game in Charles Benyako, and they also have a great supporting cast around them. I just think Alabama is going to go all the way this year, and I will not hear the end of it from Alabama fans as much as I hate to say that. But let me know what you thought of the bracket picks in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What do you think is going to happen in March Madness? Do you think Alabama will get or Houston will get upset in the first or second rounds? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.